Oh boy. This is just sad. This is just sad. So this is the new narrative, right? This is the new direction that they're going with. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Kwame is gay. Just out of nowhere. So all this time that Mr. Skinny and them been cool, all this time the media been covering, all, yeah. all this time, what, Kwame's 40 years old? And in, in, in 40 years, it's finally coming out, huh? How convenient. How convenient. Now, this is a fake tweet. This is a fake account. But this is going to be their next move. How do I know this? People send me stuff, right? I, like, I literally got sent this. And they like, yo, this is what they're talking about. This is what they're going to post. And I'm like, okay. It makes sense, right? This this makes sense that this is what they're trying to portray, right? Because once again, this immature little boy, right? This this immature little boy. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you know, Kwame is 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 gay, right? And guess who is the ringleader of this new information? Yeah. So we can see them already trying to build up this, this narrative, right? Surviving Kwame Brown, the first NBA real... Uh, surviving Kwame Brown, the NBA real first gay player. Kwame Brown wanted to suck my surviving Kwame Brown asking to suck my. The first thing I got to say about this, Mr. Skinny, is how did you feel when you was typing that? Like. I, I, I don't I don't I don't understand you, Skinny, you. You are a certified weirdo. Now. You you are a yo. Your your life must be miserable. You must have a very miserable, unhappy, unsatisfied life for you to be at 50 years old to be acting like this. I mean, you are a clean 50 plus. A solid 50 plus. And you acting like a little immature boy. Your life must really suck in real life, though. In real life. In, in, in real life, your life. Because nobody that is successful, nobody that is happy, nobody that is happily married is, is, is going to go in this direction. Like, it, it, happy people don't, don't do this. Miserable, unhappy people do this. But you know what? Obviously... This whole narrative that he's running with, it's a cap. Just like everything else he's been saying, right? Everything else, Kwame is not gay. Kwame, he's not. This, this narrative is just a new direction just to be saying something, just for YouTube content, just, just to say something, just for the beef to go on. But you know what? Let's just... Let's run with the narrative, right? I'm going to show you how stupid it is. Even. um, Oh, no, they they already did post it. Oh, yeah, they they already did post this. OK, so it's not easy being a gay. But OK, yeah. So they so they already did post this. All right. So so I'm late. I'm late. All right. So, so they already post that, right? But check this out. Skinny, once again, I can tell that you old because you don't really think things out. We can tell that your trolling is just is just horrible. You know, I exposed you for, for so many lies. It's 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 laughable right now, right? Nobody thinks that Kwame is gay. Nobody believes anything that comes that comes out of your mouth, Mr. Skinny. 
But I'm going to show you how dumb you sound. And I'm going to play along with you, right? I'm, I'm going to say, oh, my God. No, Kwame's gay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm acting, people. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm acting as if the information is correct, even though I, I know it's not. Let's just play along so I can prove once again how stupid Mr. Skinny is. <gasps> oh my God, Kwame's gay? <gasps> oh my God, Kwame wanted to suck Mr. Skinny? <gasps> oh, I can't believe it. Okay, so how long was Kwame Brown gay? He's been gay. Oh yeah, because in this video, he said that Kwame um text him, right? Right? Yeah. So 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 in this video right here, he said that Kwame Brown on his birthday, on his birthday, he said on his birthday, he texted him and said, I'm leaving the table. I'm ready to come suck. Right? So on his birthday, right? So that text message was on his birthday. Okay, so 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 let's see something. All right. When was Kwame Brown's actually actual birthday? Kwame Brown birthday. It was a couple weeks ago, right? Three weeks ago, right? As we see, we see Kwame Brown birthday was March the 9th. March the 9th, right? Three weeks ago. Okay, so that is when he's supposedly text Mr. Skinny. Okay, okay. March the 9th. So when was the official breakup? When was the official, Mr. Skinny, I can't rock with you no more. It was, da, 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 da. it was the gravity takeout. Um, my reaction, yeah, it was, it was this one. Okay, so March the 9th, from March the 9th to March the 17th. You see this right here? From March the 9th, which was Kwame Brown's birthday, and from March the 17th, which was the video that started everything, Mr. Skinny knew that Kwame Brown wanted to suck him up, okay? From March the 9th to March 17th. So that means from March 9th to March 17th, Mr. Skinny and Kwame Brown were still cool, right? They were still cool. They were still communicating. But on March the 9th, on his birthday, Kwame Brown said, bro, I want to I wanna give you that sloppy toppy. Okay, okay. Let's say that was right. Okay. All right. So, so bam. All right. Right here. Okay. So, this was the day before Kwame Brown's birthday, right? So, March the 8th. So, this video right here, which he made on Tough Love. Okay. So from that tough love video. Um, all right, so boom. So let's see how many videos did Mr. Skinny know knew that Kwame Brown wanted to give him sloppy toppy. All right, so we're gonna start from self-talk. All right, so this is the first video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then this is when everything started. So 12 videos from March the 9th to March the 17th, Mr. Skinny knew that Kwame Brown wanted to give him sloppy toppy. And this was before the breakout. So Mr. Skinny, my question to you is, why did you keep talking to Kwame Brown for those, let me see, for that week? From his birthday until the fallout, right? From his birthday until his fallout, you made 13 videos. And in between that time, you didn't tell, you didn't want to say nothing about that? When y'all was cool? So you were, you were comfortable knowing in the back of your head that Kwame wanted to give you some sloppy toppy. 
Now, mm-hmm. as a man, as a heterosexual man, if someone that I'm cool with all of a sudden says, yo, bro, I want to give you some sloppy toppy. Ah, yeah, it's been real, my nigga. Mm. Nah, bruh. Nah, nah. Um, I don't have a problem with you being gay. Go, go be gay. We can still be cool if you gay, but you're trying to be gay with me. Nah, bruh. Nah, I can't be gay with you and like keep hanging with you knowing that you want to do me. Nah, bruh. Hey, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Your time and effort, but I'm going to have to go this way. Yeah. Because always in the back of my mind, I'm going to be like, man, this nigga thinking about giving me head right now. You know, that's not being homophobic. That's I'm not into that. Right. So a straight man. Is going to take that a certain type of way. A straight man. 90% of the time is probably going to like distance himself a little bit. Not for the fact that he's gay. But for the fact that he is attracted to him in a sexual manner. So a heterosexual man be like, nah, bro, I can't. Nah, nah, me? No, bro. Nah, I I can't. I I don't go that way. But Mr. Skinny, you seem to be very comfortable with that information that Kwame Brown wanted to give you sloppy toppy. Because you kept making videos defending him. You kept making videos talking about him. You kept making videos dissing Tommy Sotomayor, which is which is Kwame Brown's arch enemy. You kept defending Kwame Brown during that time. And you didn't mention anything about it. Look at this video right here. John's turning. John turns into a 304 in front of Kwame Brown. So that was during the time that you knew that Kwame wanted to give you sloppy toppy, but you still defending him? That's interesting. Why were you so comfortable knowing that information and you still wanted to defend him? Things that make you go, hmm. So, you know what? I always wondered why did Mr. Skinny take it to heart the way that he did? Because when Kwame Brown ended that relationship, he really looked like a bitter ex-girlfriend. Mm. So, hold on. So, were you mad that Kwame Brown wasn't able to give you the sloppy toppy? <laughs> Were you Were you Were you mad That he wasn't Able to give it to you Because he was You know enjoying his birthday And then when he broke up With you In your head you're like no He finally Confessed to me I was waiting all this time for him to confess to me. And then he breaks up with me. No! No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh, it makes sense. So, Mr. Skinny, if I'm playing along with you, right? If I'm going... With the narrative that you're drawing up, it makes sense. The reason why you took the breakup so badly and so personal, the reason why you're attacking Kwame is because he broke your heart. Kwame finally came out of the closet and expressed his love 
towards Mr. Skinny. Mr. Skinny, I've been wanting you since day one. Let me give you some sloppy toppy. And Mr. Skinny was like, yo, 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 yo. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm going to drive down to Atlanta and we're going to finally be together like I always visioned. So from the time on his birthday until Gravity Takeout, you was you was in heaven because he finally came out the closet. And y'all was finally going to be together, which makes sense because from day one, you attached yourself to Kwame like a lover. <laughs> Do you see how? OK, so Kwa skinny. It makes sense. If you saying that Kwame Brown wanted to suck you up on his birthday, it makes sense that you would be mad at him when he broke up the relationship because he wasn't able to give you the sloppy toppy. It makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. So, basically, Skinny, you were mad. You was mad that Gravity Takeout broke up the relationship. If I'm going along with your narrative. That's why you taking it so hard. Whoa. Whoa. You wish you took it hard, didn't you? <laughs> oh, Mr. Skinny. You easy to beat because you stupid. Bro, any way that you try to run with this makes you look dumb. It really makes you look dumb. Because, like I said, if we want to roll with that dumbass narrative, it would make sense, Mr. Skinny, why you took the broke up so personal, so hard. You took the broke up like a scorned ex-girlfriend, like a scorned lover. Like, the way that you acting towards Kwame Brown, it seemed like, man, you was, you was, your, your heart was broken, bro. And it makes sense because Kwame Brown finally confessed his love and his desire for, for, for Mr. Skinny. And, and Mr. Skinny was waiting for that moment. He said, oh, my God, Kwame, I've been waiting for this moment ever since the shoe drive. Oh, my God, Kwame. I can't wait till I drive another six hours. Kwame, why did you think that I drove six hours three times to come see you? I, I just didn't want to be a cousin of a busty buzz. I wanted to be, I wanted to be the man of a busty buzz. <laughs> so if we go along with your narrative, that means that you were mad that Gravity took Takeout broke up you and Mr. Skinny's relationship. I mean, you and Kwame Brown's relationship because y'all was going to actually be together and Kwame was going to finally give you that sloppy top. But Gravity Takeout destroyed that opportunity. And that's why you're mad. So are you sure Kwame's still gay? Are you... Are you sure Kwame still wanted to give you sloppy toppy? Are, are you sure? <laughs> like I said, Kwame's not gay, all right? Like I said, I was just I was just feeding into the bull. And I was going with that narrative. I'm like, you know what? If we run with that narrative, that means Skinny must have been gay all this time. Because that's why he took the broke up so hard. Because his heart was broken. Yeah. So, so, Mr. Skinny, if Kwame was gay and he was trying to give you sloppy toppy, you were gay. Because you never distanced yourself. You kept defending him. And your heart was broken when he broke up the relationship. Uh, 
Oh, exposing you, Mr. Skinny, is so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> Once again, Kwame's not gay. Kwame ain't gay, man. They just, they just desperate to keep this beef going. Just for YouTube views and YouTube clicks. It's your boy, Damn D, POV, signing out. <laughs> you niggas easy to beat because you're stupid.